Welcome to Tetris Talks, the only <laughs> podcast that really matters, let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, my guest today is Ryan, he was also in the first episode with Zach. Hey guys! And, uh, no, no you play, we're not gonna do that. Alright, uh, press your button. Oh, there sorry. You. So Zach, uh, not Zach, uh, Ryan's gonna be playing on Zach's account today, so he is Grundle Tickler for the time being. Yeah. I'm going to be on the right. I'll be on the left. I and am- for those of you listening to the audio of the podcast... You don't have to see what we're doing. We're just playing some good old-fashioned Tetris. Anyway, Ryan, would you like to plug anything now that you're here? Or? Um, no, I got nothing specific I want to plug. This is going to be on the Dark Twisted Controllers anyway, so... Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's that's my main... It's my main... My main deal. Check out Ryan's other channel, Sage Rhino. He doesn't upload anything anymore. No. Faggot. Well, because I don't have internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. Um... It's just one of the things I'm not really worried about affording right now, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, cards. I forgot to mention, this podcast is sponsored by no one. Yeah! If you would like to sponsor our podcast, and if you would like that, thank you, uh, go ahead and contact us at dorkswithcontrollers at gmail.com. And if you're a fan of the show, you're welcome to email in suggested topics or games if you want to see them on our channel. Absolutely, always. Um, like how Detroit Become Human is actually a game that was given to us. Yes, it was actually by by a fan. Yeah, which is awesome, by the way. We and still if, if you want to give us like Steam, I'm about to lose like already. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan's really bad at this game. Yeah, I'm not good at Tetris. <laughs> oh damn it, dude. Yep, here we go. And there's there that. <laughs> how long has this been recording? A minute. <laughs> All right, it gave me a really fucked up. Like it just went up halfway at the very beginning. You're, you're good, dude. Alright. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if you guys like the channel and you want to see it succeed, go ahead and, you know, sponsor yeah. us if you if you have a company or if you want us, if you want us to advertise for your company. Um, as long as it's a product that we can get behind, we are down to do that. Yeah. Um, that is that is one thing. Uh, I, only, I only personally will allow products to sponsor me if I truly enjoy them. Well, that's why, like, I, I know I talk about it a lot, but, like, I like talking about Alpha Brain and I like talking about, like, like, Earlier on a different episode, we were talking about bulletproof coffee, and like I always, I always talk about the shit that I'm doing because if I find success, oh shit, nice Ryan. Uh, nice. If I find success with it, I usually try to spread it to other people because you know I want, I want other people to be successful too. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. So Lee, what are your, what are your topics for today, man? Oh yeah. So we normally have topics on Tetris talks. But we just sit and talk. Um. So today I thought we could talk about things that you hate. That everyone else likes things that I hate that everyone else like, likes. that's really like either really popular or a lot of people really like it, but for some reason you just don't. Uh, cooked vegetables, yeah. yeah I you tell me about that. fucking hate cooked vegetables. Why? Only cooked vegetables I have found myself liking are like, uh, I like like grilled or cooked onions i can eat onions cooked almost any way. Oh, I mean, I love, I love cooked onions, yeah. I, I just, exactly I just mean. love onions, yeah. Um, they have layers. Fuck! <laughs> no one else has layers, Lee? This game. Parfait! Parfait has layers. Everybody likes parfait. You know what else has layers? Cake. Everybody likes cake. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I, I can't do most cooked vegetables. Another one I can do is uh, bell peppers if they're cooked right. Like cooked bell peppers. Oh, I, love, bell peppers. I love grilling peppers. Yeah. It's, it's one of my favorite snacks. It's just, it's just really good. Yeah, um, I agree. But, like, I can't do... I can do raw spinach, but I can't do cooked spinach. And cooked I spinach... I love cooked spinach. Yeah, I know. But, like, cooked spinach is actually healthier for you than raw spinach. Well, it's which like... Which is weird. Cooked tomatoes are healthier than raw tomatoes. Really? Is that another one? Yeah, so... That's when one you, of the few. When you, like, um... When you fry tomatoes, it really... I don't know what it is, but it releases a, a certain kind of enzyme that's really good with, like, digestion. Huh. Uh, so it helps with your metabolism. So if you have a slow metabolism, uh... Just go fry up some tomatoes. Not, like, deep fry them, of course... Cause that'll just kill you. Yeah. But, um, you know, I go and put them on a put them on a pan with. Uh, so what I do is I put down some coconut oil or some vegetable oil or whatever whatever your oil of choice is, um, and then I salt the tomato on one side, pepper it, and then I put it down in the oil. Uh, I let it. You want to keep it on low temperature. You don't want to. You know. You don't want to burn the tomatoes. But um, oh shit, nice. Um, then you. You let the tomato cook for like a minute maybe, and then you flip it over, salt and pepper, or salt and pepper the side that isn't down, then flip it over. And uh, it's really tasty. Huh. I usually eat that in the morning. Oh shit. I'm really fucking up this round. Um, I usually eat that in the mornings with my bacon and eggs. Yeah. 
Uh, and if, if you don't get bell tomatoes, or not bell tomatoes, or maybe bell tomatoes, if you don't get the sweet tomatoes, it's better. I don't like sweet tomatoes, and Ryan, I don't think he likes oh, God, sweet no. tomatoes either. I'm not big on most sweet things. Yeah. I just, they're not my style. I fucked up. <laughs> don't worry, you're not doing they're, that they're just, oh, fuck! I don't know about that! I don't know about that! Oh, man. For those of you listening to the audio version, Ryan's doing badly. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah. that's, that's one of the funny things about this, is how I can get, or how somebody can get, fuck! God! Ah! I love ah! It's <laughs> ah! down, buddy. That's one of the things we were talking about yesterday. Remember Gilbert Godfrey's <laughs> yes, little so. HBO special? We were we were talking about uh, comedians, and Gilbert Godfrey came up somehow. And I don't remember because we were talking about Aladdin and how we were skeptical oh, yeah. about the new Aladdin because we couldn't find anybody playing Iago. Yeah, we don't know who's playing Iago, and if there's no Iago, I don't want to watch. Yeah, Iago is so. one of my favorite things if not my favorite thing about aladdin well aladdin's my favorite disney movie so i'll, is be, it? I'll be insulted if they don't do it right i think hercules is probably my favorite that's a really good one i love her i like hercules too but aladdin's just always had a special place in my heart yeah i love i love the style that hercules has yeah i can see that i i, I love like jazz and so that kind of up swingish mm. vibe to it yeah i know what you oh mean. um but yeah, we were talking about Gilbert Gottfried, and <laughs> we were talking, I was telling Ryan about this Netflix special, that he, or I don't know if it was Netflix, but he had this special, I think it might have been an HBO, HBO special or something, but he had this special where for like 10 minutes, it's just him doing his voice going, ah, <laughs> <laughs> nothing else, he's not even screaming or anything, he's just going, ah, like just, it's just so uncomfortable, but it's so funny. And I would like to mention it. Oh, that is my favorite fucking thing. <laughs> I love that. I it's think that is so some funny. of the funniest shit. Because he knows people love his voice. He's got a great He's voice. Such, it's so unique. I wouldn't even call it great. I would just call it unique. I think it's great. Just straight up unique. Well, because I have a kind of unique inflection to my voice as well. So Yeah. I've been uh, told I do too. I've been told I very much have a very unique voice. And we're yeah. fucked again. Here it comes. <laughs> Ryan's going to lose again. Get ready. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan and I have... Like a lot of people, I'm not saying that everybody, you know, everybody has the same voice, but um, a lot of people that I know, like Zach or like uh, my friend Chevy or like a couple of my female friends and stuff like Kay, they all have voices that like I've heard other people. Like yeah. I can hear other people when they're talking sometimes. Yeah, but like I try not to, but I can hear it. Uh, but with like Ryan, and I've been told with myself like that just doesn't happen. Yeah, nobody hears my voice and is like, oh, I thought you were somebody else. They hear my voice and they're like, oh. Hi Ryan. <laughs> I've, been, I've been recognized in a crowd because of my voice. I have to like people like I've had friends come up to me like oh, I heard you talking and I was like what and they're like yeah your your voice is very distinct and I was I just I just look at them I'm like I guess because I don't hear it. Um, I definitely hear it with my voice. Yeah, because you're a narcissist. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I won't deny it. Right, I'm just I'm just fucking with you. I know I'm not I'm not actually a narcissist, but I do I do like myself. I like myself a lot. Yeah, which is always a good thing. Good to have confidence. Absolutely, gets you bitches sometimes. You know what else does? What's that? Walmart. Walmart. What? Bitches love. Ah, yes. Walmart. We're sponsored by Walmart. <laughs> we are now. Forgot to mention. <laughs> Walmart. Or, uh, Walmart. Shop. I guess. Hey. Sponsor us. Hey, yo, Walmart. <laughs> we wanna, we wanna make a, make an arrangement. We wanna make a business deal. Actually, I can't do that because I may or may not be working for Fred Myers now. Oh shit! Sponsored yeah. by Fred Myers now. <laughs> hey, there it is. <laughs> Fred Myers. BB. Give us some of that hey, hey. monetization. Hey, BB. BB. <laughs> <laughs> Get on over here, babe. Why are we? <laughs> Come sponsor. Also, us. Lee and I have discussed that we are, we are just cavemen. Yep. <laughs> We're just like absolute fucking... Oh yeah, on. wait, hold on. To get to the topic at hand, so the thing that I hate that everyone else likes is the Fast and the Furious mar- franchise. Oh no! I hate I, Fast and the Furious. I, yeah, I... Oh, I mean, I don't hate it. It's not a bad so, thing. But so, like, it's just, I don't understand why people like it. Cars. Like, I like cars! Don't get me... I'm a car guy. I love cars. But I don't understand why they're like, the Fast and the Furious is just like... I don't understand why people are attracted to it. Why people cream over it so hard. Like, my mother loves the series, and so do my little brothers, but, like, I just don't get it. I watch the movie, and I'm bored. I I never got super into them, either, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but I don't think they're they're bad, necessarily, and I don't I mean, hate them. I don't think, I don't hate, I, hate's a strong word. I don't hate them. 
I just don't get yeah. it. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. You know, I just, I look at it and I go, what the fuck am I supposed to enjoy with this? Yeah, I feel you there. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. Well, like, what's a, what's like a movie that you don't like that everyone else seems to like? Um, a movie that I don't like that everyone else seems to like? Yeah, like you talk about food you like. Oh, Django Unchained. Oh my god, I love that movie. I hate it. What? You hate it? I hate it. Why do you hate it? I I think it's honestly because I don't like pretty much any of the actors that were in it. You don't like Jamie Foxx? No, not at all. Not as Wait, you don't like Samuel Jackson? I do like Samuel Jackson. I do like Samuel Jackson, but I don't like DiCaprio. I don't you don't like, like Leonardo DiCaprio? Uh, very few roles I have actually enjoyed him in. That's one of the few roles I actually liked him in. Really? He I plays a like very, him. very, very good... He's a very... Well, he's not a good character, but he's... He's a very interesting and dynamic character in that movie. Yeah. And he plays pretty flat people most of the time. Yeah. By the way, Leonardo DiCaprio, if you're listening, I'm trying, I'm trying, man. You just, you play like the same fucking person every movie you're in. Let's you be really honest. do. And I think that's why I don't like him usually. That's fair. Um, and so like, it was hard for me to get past, it was very hard for me to get past Jamie Foxx. You don't like him. You don't like Jamie Foxx. I really don't. Not why as an like actor. I, he does, I've never seen him play a believable character. Really? Never. Hmm. Like I, what? I can see what you mean with Django. Like he's not very. He's not super good as Django, but it's a Tarantino movie. I like mean, come what? On. Give me, give me a good Jamie Foxx character. Oh, oh shit! I actually had something for this. Um, do you ever see Baby Driver? Never seen it. Oh my god, he plays a gangster in Baby Driver. He's really like he plays this crazy guy. I fucked like, up too hard, so I just ended. <laughs> <laughs> but he plays this. He plays this really crazy gangster guy who's like, "Yeah, I'm fucked in the head. Fuck you," you know. Yeah. And he's really, he's really good in that movie. You know what? I'll admit, in Django and Chain, he leaves a lot to be desired, but he's still pretty good. Okay, maybe that's his only good character because I enjoyed that very similar character when he was Motherfucker Jones. <laughs> <in> Motherfucker <laughs> Jones. Do you remember that in Horrible Bosses? I've never seen Horrible Bosses. Oh my god. <laughs> it was so funny Probably he was you. motherfucker Jones motherfucker Jones yeah that's a great name he would just be like you know why they call me motherfucker Jones cause <laughs> he'd be like cause one night when my mom was asleep oh no I already know I went into going. a room oh, where I was no. stuck oh no Ryan and I looked at her <sighs> Ryan you're making me uncomfy and I took my fingers whoa and slipped her uh, into her purse and uh, stole $20. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know. Maybe Jamie Foxx is only good at playing crazy people. <laughs> maybe. Maybe he's just a crazy person. But like, I like his music. I do like... Jamie Foxx, after Django and Chain came out, he made a guest appearance in the Thousand Ways to Die in the West movie as Django. And he goes to the state fair and he's like... And oh, like, yeah! I remember that. Goes, People die at the fair. But he's he's just playing Django. Yeah. I remember that, actually. That wasn't bad. I thought it was funny. That, I thought that was a funny little reference. I liked it. Because cool. I, I think Django was popular when that movie came out, so everyone was like... Oh, yeah. It definitely it. was. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just went in the wrong mindset. I guess I didn't go in in the normal Tarantino movie mindset, I don't think. Well, that's the thing. Everyone's like, oh, Quentin Tarantino, it's so vile, it's so racist. It's like, yeah, he makes period pieces. I wonder why. Right. Um... But, it, like, it wasn't even the period piece part that got me, you know, because you know I don't care about that. Well, yeah, it's going down people were like, oh, well, a lot of people were like, it's racist, but it's like, yeah, it's set in slavery times, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's you're gonna gonna watching a movie, movie about racist. slavery, what yeah. do you expect? Yeah, it's about a black guy being a slave and trying to kill people. What did you think was going to happen? Yeah. Um, and so, like, obviously, you know that part didn't bug me. Yeah. Um, but, like, I don't think I went in with the normal mindset I have going into Tarantino movies, which I think hurt my opinion of the movie a lot. Could which be. is sad. And I need to go back and watch it with a... with a Quentin Tarantino eye. Yeah. Um, because, like, I went By the way, in... Quentin Tarantino, if you're listening, we love you. We I do. You're awesome. I love I know you probably don't give a shit, but I think you're, I think you're awesome. Dude. I think you're great, too. Um, but, like, I usually love his movies. You know, Pulp Fiction... I oh my Pulp god! Fiction. I love it. It's phenomenal. Kill Bills? Oh, the Kill, Kill Bills. Oh man, I've loved Kill Bills since I was like eight. Exactly. I saw that shit on TV and I was just like, dude. What? This is my it's life. It's so over the top. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go in. I didn't know it was a Tarantino movie. When oh, I you didn't know Django was a Tarantino no, movie? No, I didn't oh, know when I went into it. That's probably why you didn't like it. And so, yeah, I think so. And so I think I went into it not knowing it was a Tarantino. Granted, 
On the other hand... We may have just changed Ryan's opinion of an entire movie. No, 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 no. (laughs) Not yet, because I've had this thought before, and I I I still think I need to go into it with a different mindset. But on the other hand, should I have to have a certain mindset going into a movie? Should it matter whether or not it's a Tarantino to base it on whether it's a good movie or not? I think because Tarantino has a habit of going really, really, really far in one direction. And I think, unless you know that, it's a little jarring. Because unless you know Kill Bill is going to be over the top... I can imagine a lot of people not liking it. And I think when Kill Bill came... I, I might be wrong about this, but I think when Kill Bill came out, a lot of critics didn't like it because it was too over the top. I, th- I don't remember that. I was not. way too young to know this, but I, I think I remember it in, like, the lore of Tarantino or whatever. Ah, uh, fuck, there it is. <laughs> Ryan just lost. That's okay. But yeah, Django and Shane. That's, Django. That's a great I didn't movie. Like, I, I didn't it. like Django. My favorite character is, isn't Django, though. My favorite character is the guy who plays um, the dentist. Yes, I think he was minding that too. I actually. love that actor. I like him in everything he's in. Every single movie I've ever seen him in, I love him. He's fantastic. Yeah, he I remember his liking fucking him. ass off. Um, I will say though, one role I liked DiCaprio in a lot, and I think we talked about this, and I don't think you've seen the movie, um, The Revenant. Oh, I've seen The Revenant. Yeah, I love The Revenant. That movie was phenomenal. I actually, I didn't know Leonardo DiCaprio was in it going in. Really? Well, because I. I don't keep up. Apparently he was getting an Oscar or something. I don't know. No, he was nominated. Still ain't got one, I don't think. <laughs> I, I, I thought he did. I, no, thought the memes, I, still... I thought the memes died because he finally got one. No, I think he still hasn't had one. Oh, I don't fuck. I don't know. Well, I, that's something I gotta look up. I don't know for sure. Um, but, uh, regardless. Either way. I didn't know he was in it. Because okay. I just I just saw it and I was like, oh, it's a movie about a guy fighting a bear. I'm down. <laughs> I'm a very simple man to please, you know. I was, yeah, I just went into the movie. I'm like, all right, this looks like a fun time. So I, I, walk, I walked in the theater and then, I, and then I see Leonardo DiCaprio on my screen and I'm just like, why are you here? Excuse? You're like a rom-com dude. What are you doing here, man? Yeah, this ain't Gatsby. Get out of here. This ain't back to the, go back to Wall Street. <laughs> I do like Wolf of Wall Street. I hate. I, have to say. I hate Wolf of Wall Street. I only like the part. My favorite part is when fucking. Oh, what's his name? All right, all right, all right. What's his name? Matthew McConaughey. Oh yeah. My favorite part is with Matthew McConaughey. We sit there. Yes. I saw him doing that. I was like, ah, he's gone crazy. <laughs> and see, like, I saw an interview. Apparently, he does that to like warm up for scenes. Really? In real life, he does that. So the director was like, "Ah, just like warm up for the scene," because he saw him do that one time in a different movie when he was filming him, and he was just like, "Okay." So he started doing that on set, bef- and Leonardo DiCaprio didn't know he was going to be doing that when he came on. So he sees <laughs> Matthew McConaughey sitting at a table going, "Hmm, hmm, hmm, hi." He wants that look of confusion on his face. That's real confusion. That's amazing. <laughs> Because he's like, all right, I know Leonardo DiCaprio can't really act, so I'm just gonna put him in real situations. I mean, <laughs> you gotta work with what you got when you're doing. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I didn't find much plot in the movie. I thought it was poorly paced. I didn't think it was. I think the whole point was Wall Street, cocaine, and hookers. Let's go. That's literally yeah. all it is. And I went into it expecting so much more, and I got so much less. Did you ever like? I don't. I don't think it's. Is there a book of Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street? Have you ever read it's... about Wall Street though? Like, during the 70s and the 80s? Um, I read more about it during the Depression. Oh, okay. Just because that was such a huge... If you, ever read, stock if you ever read about, like, the height of Wall Street... Yeah. If you read anything about it, it's not going to be a meaningful film at all. Oh, yeah. Just and I because that. of how Wall Street was. Like, there's no meaning behind any of this shit. Oh, They're yeah. just robbing people. Yeah. It's literally, like, the film is just highway robbery and cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not what I wanted when I went into it. <laughs> I mean, that's all you can get from Wall Street, though, so... Yeah. I, I think you have just too high expectations, right? I, I can be very critical. I'll, I'll give it that. I can oh, be I love very critical. Critical, <laughs> yeah, dude, critical sponsor us. Yo, Critical. How's it going, man? I love your videos. Yeah, I love you too, man. I've been watching since the Mrs. Puff driving school episode. <laughs> Yo, me too! <laughs> me and I were talking about the other day. We actually went back and watched it. Yeah, dude. I love uh, that video. If you haven't seen that video, go check out Penguin 10 or it's whatever. It's Penguin Zero. Penguin Zero Just with Penguin Z. Penguin Zero, yeah. Uh, it's, his name's Critical, but he's a really cool dude. Uh, we're not sponsored by him. We're not affiliated with him, but we just we like him. And I Critical, if you're watching, I like what's up, man? I like your shit. I yeah. hope you keep doing it. I love your, I love your streams, dude. I haven't seen many of his streams. I'm not a big streamer guy. Though. I I actually I used them to go to sleep at one point. 
Really? Yep. That's just because nice. it was just background noise, and it was stuff I enjoyed, like when he was playing like Psychonauts and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I do that with um, Game Grumps. Yeah, I used to. Like, it's not that I don't like the Game Grumps, it's just, they talk about the same shit all the time. And, yeah. Like, their jokes are pretty nonsensical. Yeah, they can be, but it's, it's still good. I still enjoy them. Um, yeah. I like the Game Grumps, but I, I like putting them on before I go to bed, because it's just... It's nice hearing their voices. They got nice voices. They do. By the way, Game Grumps. <laughs> this whole show is just me shouting people out that I talk yeah, about. Yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> like the last one. Hey, Hillary Clinton, how's it going? <laughs> oh, hey, no, we don't bring that up again. <laughs> no, no, we'll bring her I up. I don't want to get shot. Listen, if we end up shot, you know who did it. Yeah, for real, though. If I say that, Fuck she's you. not going to shoot us, because she'll know. Yeah, exactly. Because we have 100 people on here, and they'll raise, they'll raise a problem, you know? <laughs> 100 people raises... <laughs> that exp- they'll raise that an issue. Raises Next election, it's like, apparently she's running in 2020, by the way. Oh. When is she not going to be learn fucking her running? She didn't learn her lesson. She's never going to fucking stop, dude. No, for She's real. never going to. For real. She never will until she gets it, and then once she gets it, she's she'll not gonna stop. Get it. She's not going to get it. I guarantee it. I, no one likes Hillary Clinton. Dude, you can, women don't even like Hillary Clinton, dude. You no keep one likes shooting that. for the fucking goal, you'll hit it eventually. No, you will not. No, no one likes Hillary Clinton. Everyone hates Hillary Clinton, dude. That's why she's never won. She has run since, like, the, the 90s. Yeah. Like, as soon as her husband stopped being president, she's like, I'm going to be president. And everyone said, no, we don't like you. And guess what happened? Nothing. Nothing. She's not going to get it. Anyone who's like, oh, we're going to have Hillary. It's like, no, you're not. Thank Shut up. Fucking God. Just she's shut a, up. She's a liar. No one likes Hillary cunt. Clinton. No one wants to vote for her. She's a fucking cunt. And I'm not saying we can't have a woman president. I'm down to let a woman have the same shitty job as a, men can ha- a man can have. Absolutely. I think a woman can, f- like Joe Rogan always says, I think a woman can fuck that job up just as much as any man can. And I absolutely agree, because I don't think anyone can do that job. That job is fucking stupid. Yeah. But, um, you know, fuck, if a woman wants to be president, fine. I just don't want Hillary Clinton, because she's a bitch. Yeah. She's a, she's a fucking cunt, and I don't, I don't use that like word her. often. Yeah, I don't either, but I don't like her. She's she doesn't, she doesn't even seem presidential. She just seems like, I like money, give me money. And it's like, okay, cool, I don't want to make you the leader. Yeah, exactly. Because all you're going to do is drain out the fucking economy trying to get... Well, because, like, did you know apparently her and her husband stole things from the White House when they left? Oh, yeah! Why wouldn't you? Like, the, the White House, right after Bill Clinton left office, reported, like fine china that was given from like the queen of england a hundred years ago missing and like apparently a portrait of abraham lincoln was taken down as well because she's a fucking bitch yeah i i there's not many people that i hate that passionately but holy oh, fuck I, hate her. I just think she's a bad person oh i it's i guess i can't i guess i don't hate anyone i really don't and that's something i always tell people because i'll always be like ryan well who do you hate you know you seem like a pretty new topic who do you hate <laughs> Um, Anne Frank. What? Anne Frank. Why? She was a dumb bitch. What? Maybe if she was not. Maybe if she wasn't so busy masturbating, writing about her period, she would have gotten caught by the fucking Nazis. Holy shit, man! <laughs> That's something. Is that an actual thing? No, 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 uh, Zach, Zach is working on editing right now. He turned around from his he desk took to his walk head- rock. <laughs> he took his headphones off. He's just staring at me with the most extremely shocked look I've seen from Zach. Fuck is wrong. Now Kay's out of here too. Oh, <laughs> so, well, let me get some background on this. Oh my so, god. Quiet. So, I'm going to talk about serious for like saying, five minutes. I'm staying quiet this whole time, but holy shit, I'm tired. Wow. Oh, Jesus, that's a terrible joke, but I love it. So, so, so I mean, dude, do you mind if I like steal that for my act? Absolutely not. God, fucking hate it. You were going to see The Nazis <laughs> went to the car, right? Ryan, it was Jew in the eyes explaining. Yo, oh my God. Okay. Um, so, this, this, this show is off the rails. Right. Right. <laughs> Let me give some back. This is the show in integrity. <laughs> I was hanging out with my friends. My friends, Chris. My friends, Chris and Quentin. I fucking love you guys. You're oh, great. People. Shout out to Chris and Quentin if you're watching. You're amazing people. If you're not watching, I'm still gonna shout you out. Yeah. Know you're the real MVP. Yeah. Oh my god. And they were walking around. They're like, fuck, dude. They were, talk- <laughs> they were talking to each other, and they were being like genuine. We were just having like little deep talks, you know. And they're like, all right, who do you actually hate? Like, who who can you? 
who can you genuinely say that you hate? And they were given like little random people that are just kind of insignificant in their lives, you know. So like real people. Are, yeah, just real. Well, I don't mean to say they're <laughs> like real. people in their life. Yeah, yeah, people in the world. You know. Yeah. Hmm? And they were they were talking about that, and they finally get to me, and they were like, Ryan, who do you hate? And I just look up and I look at Chris <laughs> dead in the eyes, and I go, and fucking Frank. <laughs> What? Excuse me? And Chris, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's so gullible. He really oh, is. Oh, poor guy. And so, Wait, is, this, is this Chris that I know from, from Fine Arts Building? Yep. This oh, is, okay. This is Chris. What's up, Chris? It's been a while. I haven't seen you in a uh, couple, a couple and months. And he was like, what? He's and like, I go, and fucking Frank, I hate that bitch. I, hate, I go, I hate that stupid bitch. I thought you goes, were legit for a second. And he second. goes, yeah, because I'm really good at <laughs> like saying it. I mean, and he goes, oh, "Why?" Right, right. And I go, "Well, you know, she's just too fucking stupid. Maybe if she wasn't so busy writing about her period, jacking off in the fucking attic, she would have gotten distracted and caught by the fucking Nazis." Oh my god! And Chris god. goes, "Oh my god! I can't believe you actually think this." I'm like, "God, Chris, I don't." Oh my <laughs> like, god! And so it's just been this running joke that I hate and Frank. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, That's a damn good joke. <laughs> it is, and it actually started because there was there was somebody. Uh, by the way, anyone thinking about stealing that bit, I'm going to steal it first. Right. <laughs> right. Give me permission to use that for my act. Yeah, honestly, any of you guys can use that joke. I really God don't damn it, care. Ryan. Just, just try to make a career. I'm just saying, give me credit. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to talk about my friend Ryan. Because <laughs> I'm not going to say this. You're going to too white. You're going to you're going to look in the crowd and be like, this fucking guy. Jesus <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and the hell were we talking about before that charade? Uh, things, things, things. Most people love, but you hate. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> <laughs> Which is funny that it segued into this because I didn't mean for it to. Oh, okay. um, oh my yes, god! It did. Yes, you did, Ryan. Oh um, my god! And so, like, uh, what was I saying? That actually came from a while back. There was this There's chick more. in my high school class that was like, "No, Anne Frank is still alive." I know it. What? It's one of those people, you know. Hog- uh, is this, a, this is a weird conspiracy theory. Yeah, so I people hate. think Anne Frank survived the death camps and she's been quiet all this time because she doesn't want to get the attention. Because apparently, she just wanted to live a normal life. Um, but then, after her diary was found, uh, she was like, her husband was like, "Ah, you should come forward or whatever." And she yeah. was like, "Nope, I no, that's be fucking stupid. That's yeah. like escaping Alcatraz and not talking about it. That's how I know those people didn't die. Well, these are people that you know, you rob a bank. Well, hold on, because there have been plenty of people." throughout history like there's a, there's a I can't remember the name of this guy but there's a killer in the midwest who like he was going skydiving or something mm-hmm. or no he, he like killed some people and then kidnapped them and then he like dove out of a plane like a skydiving plane whoa that's badass and he's still like I think he's still alive or he might he might have died a couple years ago but um like People, some people know who he is, but they don't want to tell him. And the statute of limitations is up for his case, so he could come forward and say, "Oh yeah, that was me," and he won't get arrested. Um, but he doesn't want to. He wants people to live with the mystery of like who who this guy was, who done it. Yeah, he wants them to he because they don't have a picture of his face, they don't have anything on him besides like a very vague description. So huh. he he keeps it quiet, and people know like they like there he has like people and like family friends who like know who he is. And they know that he's this guy. Huh. But he's asking them not to come forward because... And, and if anyone knows who I'm talking about, please link it in the comments below. Yeah, I've never mean, um, heard of this guy. But, like, yeah, I heard it on the Joe Rogan Experience, I think. Or maybe I heard it on a different podcast. But I heard it on a podcast, and um, the guest was just like, yeah, I know who this guy is. And, and Joe was like, really? And he goes, yeah. He's like, he's a family friend. I've known him since I was a little kid. He goes, and one day we wow. had a conversation about this case, and then the guy looked at him and he goes, well, the statute of limitations is up. I'm that guy. And he was like, excuse me? And he goes, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell who I, anyone who I was, though. And he was huh. just like, he was taken aback, and he's like, why haven't you told anyone? And he just goes, yeah, I want him to live with the mystery. Huh! Yeah. How interesting. So I feel like if Anne Frank was alive, I could see her not. Because also, like, she wrote some very, very personal things in that diary, and when it got popularized, like, she, gay people were not popular. You know, gay people were not accepted. Yeah. And she was, like, bisexual or a lesbian or, or something, I think. She was bi, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. But um, at the time, it wasn't it wasn't accepted. Yeah. So I could see her not wanting to come forward, at least for that reason. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying that there's any, like, legitimacy to this conspiracy theory whatsoever. I'm just saying yeah, it, it kind of makes sense why she wouldn't come forward. 
Yeah. Either way, what I was getting at was when she said that, I was like, oh yeah, you're right. She's about to drop a new album in 2017 with Tupac. Oh my god. <laughs> and Biggie. Yeah, with Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> you know those people that are still alive and didn't die from being shot in 93 uh, and 94. You know what's really sad about people who think that Biggie's still alive is like, we have pictures of his body from the coroner. Yeah. Like, Homeboy's dead. I'm sorry. I like Biggie too. I love his music. I think he's a really cool guy. Oh, dude. But, well, like, it's like how I like John Lennon. I love John Lennon. He's fucking dead. Yeah. I like John And a lot of people are like, oh, he'll be reincarnated. It's like, what? There's a whole, like, people have a religion about the Beatles now. Did you know that? Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm serious. What kind of retard? There's a. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm, I'm sorry. sorry if you're actually retarded, but... <laughs> yeah, you're entitled to have your wrong religion, but, like... No, it's like, they believe that John Lennon will be re- Like, Jesus, he'll be reincarnated and come back to this earth and save us all from... From fucking what? I think, from pop punk? I think... <laughs> I think capitalism, but yeah. I think pop punk is a good assumption to make. What? What kind of fucking juice are these people drinking? I'll take five. <laughs> Shoot, I'll take five. Give me a fucking gallon of this PCP. What the fuck, dude? What kind of... I like how you would just assume it's PCP. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> nah, because people at PCP are more interested in, like, throwing buildings than they are. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're not saying that. Alright, that kind of fucked me up a little bit. I put that red block there. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Uh, but for real, what fucking crack do you have to be smoking to think that John Lennon will be re- you can believe in reincarnation I don't care about that you can, yeah Ryan's allowing you to believe in reincarnation yeah, yeah you have my permission you have my permission <laughs> you have my permission to believe in fucking reincarnation you but want if you think that John Lennon will be reincarnated and save the fucking world first of all from what pop punk uh, let's just call it pop punk okay from pop punk great I mean, what the fuck are you on? Yeah, what do you take? Uh, LSD, probably. Uh, maybe. Let's be honest. Th- he's a Beatles fan. Yeah, Beatles you're fans right. You're about. right. They're doing <laughs> the DMT. It's the DMT. DMT. <laughs> Yo, you can try DMT, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it into that podcast. Uh, <laughs> uh, but like, for fucking real. Speaking of DMT, I actually have done DMT. Yeah, I think it's. Nice. I think you've told me about that. I believe I, I did. It's it's not something. That... I don't like talking about like. Well, I'll talk about. It personally what I've experienced, but I don't like talking about it online oh, too much. But I, I had a very interesting experience on it, yeah. and uh, allegedly I did it, but you know, yeah, because it's illegal. Fucking A! No! 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 Ryan. No! Ryan. You're trying. I, I just gave up. You actually. Tried, but you failed. <laughs> I was doing pretty good there. I got a bad I am. You were, you were doing fine. Uh, no, that's what you're saying. It's, I'm not... It's just not something I want to do, so I'm not going to do it. You know, that's fine, man. I'm not going to, you're not going to, I'm not going to, like, I, I'll tell people what it's like to do it, and, like, if they want to try it, I'll help them. Absolutely. Like, I'll, I, I, I call myself a shaman, and that sounds fucking arrogant as fuck, but I honestly believe that, like, I, I, I think I can help people with their drug experiences. That, yeah. and, and that's what shaman technically are, so, like, by the technical definition, I am a shaman. Yeah. No. And I know that sounds fucking woo bullshit as fuck, but you know, that's just my own thing. I, I mean, I've I've introduced a couple of my friends to marijuana, and I, I've introduced a couple of my friends to, like mushrooms, allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, by the way, marijuana is legal where we are, and I'm over the age of twenty-one. And all the people that I have ever helped smoke marijuana are over the age of twenty-one. And yeah, nobody gives a shit anymore. Like I still, you, you know, though, in this world, there's a lot of people who are like, that's illegal, that's mean. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. Listen, dude, there are like middle schoolers that are drinking, so. You Which know. is way worse for you, by the way. Yeah, if you're in middle school, don't drink. I don't smoke, and I like the idea of drinking, but yeah. I know it's way worse allegedly. for Allegedly. I allegedly like the idea, maybe, of drinking, possibly. Possibly. But, <laughs> like, I know it's way worse for you. Yeah. I absolutely do. And it's one of those things where people can argue it all you want. But when there's fucking evidence... I just hate how people are like... They're like, oh, protect the children. or It's like, the children are fucking. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. If they're you're like, going to protect the children, give them fucking I mean, like it's Yeah, like adults who are like, oh, don't swear in front of the children. It's like, okay, these children are showing each other their dicks. Like, they're sending... If your kid has a phone, they've sent a dick pic. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I fucking... Just from being a person in the world, I can tell you right now... If your 11-year-old has a phone, there's an 11-year-old penis out there floating around. Hell yeah, there is! In cyberspace, Ryan's <laughs> <laughs> You're not Zach. 
<laughs> you're right, you're right. Wrong, wrong person. Sorry, I was getting too into the to the role I'm playing in Tetris. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, you keep losing like Zach. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> but he has headphones in. Right? It's okay, he'll hear it later. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, for real, there is. And people... People... <sighs> I think it's disgusting. Like, uh, people shelter kids, themselves. Well, when I have kids, obviously, like, I'll try to keep them innocent for a little while. And yeah. But but at some point, you got to just take the training wheels off and be like, okay, you're a whole-ass person right now. Like, here's here are some uh, here's suggestions. You know, I've been around for a little while. Here's what I've learned. Try not to do this. Try to do that. Blah, blah, blah. You know. Yeah. I'll tell my kid, like, listen, you're probably going to try drugs. That's okay. It's natural to be curious about drugs. However, and this is my advice... For all drugs for everybody. If you are offered drugs and know. you think you would like to try drugs, so this goes for everyone on the channel too. If you would like to try them, take half. Yes, yeah, see fun. how you see how you feel. Whatever they're giving you, don't take the whole amount. See how you feel, then take the rest. Yeah. Now this only applies to non-hard drugs. So heroin, never do heroin. Meth, never do meth. Cocaine, do cocaine once. That's it. All you need to know is how cocaine affects you. If it affects you in any way that isn't you, stop taking it. Oh, absolutely. Because uh, meth and heroin, like, everyone knows those are bad drugs. Those are drugs that take over your soul. You know, those are very bad drugs for you. I don't advocate the use of those drugs at all. I know people who've ruined their lives and are currently ruining their lives, and I've known people who, who've died of that shit. Yeah. I, I know somebody mm -hmm. who... Um, he uh, screwed over his work. He screwed over his family. He screwed over his friends. People here yeah. hate him now, and he f he fled the state. Yeah, because of it. Dude, heroin's a bad bad. Yeah, I fucked apart on that one. Meth, we just been talking, so I've been getting you're, you're, distracted. You're good, man. Um, meth is even worse. If you think heroin is bad, meth's even worse. Yeah. Don't ever try those drugs. Yeah. Coke is like a thing, and you could try if you really want to, but I don't recommend it. Oh, what the fuck? I got like the worst start. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. It's okay. Um. You know, but, like, any of the psychedelics, I am 100%, I think all the psychedelics should be legal, because there is very little, like, other than, like, maybe ecstasy, I think maybe ecstasy shouldn't be legal. Yeah. But, like, mushrooms, marijuana, LSD, yeah. you know, uh, ayahuasca, I think all of those are very, there. there's a lot of evidence to suggest that they're very good for you, especially for your psyche and for, like, how you process things. Um, they're very, they've been shown to improve memory, they've been shown to improve, um... Except, like, um, kindness. Everybody who's ever done them has said that they've had a very positive um, experience on them and that they, they, like, it improves their lives. So I think those drugs, for sure, everyone should be allowed to try those. Yeah. At least try them. Like, they don't have to do them on a regular basis or anything, but I think they should be allowed to try them. Yeah. And I don't think the government or anybody should be able to tell you what you can or cannot do with your body. I that agree being said, with be that. careful because those drugs can mess you up too. Oh, absolutely. Especially I, if you're in a bad environment. Well, I took them. I took um, LSD one time. Allegedly, maybe. Allegedly, maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making up a joke. I'm a comedian on the internet after yeah, all. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I took allegedly. This is my story anyway. Uh, I took LSD and I forgot what. Well, not LSD. Sorry, DMT. And I forgot what names were. And I was talking to... I remember you telling me I was this. talking to Zach about you, Ryan, actually, at one point. I was, telling, I was telling him what you had said to me, and I was like, oh, yeah, Lee said this. And Zach goes, you were talking to yourself? And I went, no, I was talking to Lee. And he goes, you're Lee? And I went, no, the other guy with the different sound. And he goes, what? And I go, the different sound that means what he is, you know, Ryan. And he goes, you were talking to Ryan. And I went, yes. And he goes, what do you mean different sound? And I said, the thing, the sound that we make for other people... So that they know who they are. <laughs> I said, because we're all the same thing. <laughs> he, just goes, he just goes, what? And I was like, name. His name. That's his name. I couldn't, I didn't know what name, like, the concept of names so, didn't make sense to me. I was like. You and I recorded the next day. Do you remember that? Ah, uh, vaguely, but yeah. And you were still having trouble. Yeah, I was still having trouble with names. Uh, well, because you, you walked up and you were like, oh, hey, Lee. And I'm like, oh, I go, what? Yeah. I kept, and I, go, I kept calling Ryan me for some reason. And I go. Lee, you're Lee. <laughs> and he goes, what? Oh, why? Sorry, I got some stuff to tell you. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but you did. I was like, DMT experience. Yeah. Allegedly. His alleged DMT uh, experience. When I did, that, when I did uh, LSD, though, I forgot how to walk. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, I, did, well, no I, I could walk, 
But, like, it was hard. Oh, yeah, there was one point where I was a kid and I did no drugs. And I forgot how to move my middle finger. What? And so, I'm, I'm losing so I can show you something, something right now. Yeah, I woke up one day and I just couldn't move my middle finger. I'd go, huh! And I'd go to flex my middle finger, right? Mm-hmm. And I'd flex my index. Weird. And I'd go, no, that's not right. Let me try again. And it would be my ring. Whoa. And I couldn't remember. And I, I was like, well, shit, this sucks. I'm not going to tell my parents because whenever I grab something, I'm flipping people off. Yeah, yeah. And so I went downstairs and I went to go eat breakfast. I'm like, all right, feels good now. And I go to grab my fork and I flip off my mom. And she's like, excuse me? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry, mom. I'm going to be honest. This is going to sound crazy. I forgot how to move my middle finger. And she goes, excuse me again? <laughs> how old were you? I was like eight. Oh, okay. One time, so there's this there's this thing in my family where um, it's happened to my brother, and I think it happened to my dad when he was younger. It happened to my grandpa or something. Where um, our immune system, it, it's like an accidental thing, but our immune system will attack our body. Oh, is it is it a kind of autoimmune disorder? Kind of, I don't know. It's this weird thing. It attacks different sections. Like my dad, had, I think my dad had an attack like his lungs or something when he was a kid. I'm not exactly sure. I think okay. he told me about it once. Um, but my brother one time. I don't know. He must have been, like, six. We were young. We were very young. And we shared a room. And we were in a bunk bed. And I had the top bunk because I'm the oldest, and that's how it works. Yeah. Um, and he had the bottom bunk. And we woke up one morning. I think it was, like, a Saturday afternoon or something. And I wanted to go and play Legos with him. Yeah. And so I hop out of bed, and I've already been awake, so I wake him up. And I go, hey, let's go play Legos. And he looks at me, and he goes, okay. And then he just lays there. And I'm like, let's go. And he goes, I can't feel my feet. What? And I go, huh? And I'm a little kid. I don't know about the whole, like, trope of, like, I can't feel my legs, you know? Yeah. Or anything like that. So I go, I think it's a game. Yeah. So I go, oh, ha, ha funny. Like, okay, I can't feel my legs either or whatever. Or, you know, I'm like, oh, the floor's lava. Right? You know, I'm ready to play. Yeah, so, exactly. Because I'm a little kid. I don't like know. a puppy. You wake up and yeah, play. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a little uh, untainted youth. It's a little Lee cub. Yeah, yeah, a little Lee cub. I mean, I was... Pretty much a wild animal. <laughs> I was, I was, I was so mangy. timid. I was not. I was pretty mangy as a kid. I just ran free when I was a child. Oh really? I was that kid that was like, my parents were like, "Hey, you want to go play outside?" I'm like, "There's fucking bees out there, Dad." <laughs> I was like, "Dad, you're allergic to bees. I know this for a Side fact. Story. I could be allergic to bees. That shit will fucking kill me. Dude, I'm gonna die if I go outside." Dude, okay, so <laughs> I've probably told this story on the channel before, but I used to chase after bees with tennis rackets with my friends, and fucking, we would just try to kill all of them. You're the reason. <laughs> what am I the reason? You're the reason the bees are dying, Lee. <laughs> Actually, it was when they started disappearing, too, so... Oh, no! Oh, no! Everyone knows the reason now. Wow. But anyway... Allegedly! Anyway, so allegedly. allegedly! Oh, shit, I might get in a lot of trouble for that. Um, but, uh... <laughs> uh but, anyway, I was just... Uh, I was, like... I was I was playful, so I was like, Oh, okay, whatever, weird rules. And so, my brother kept playing this game, and I got tired of it, so I was like, Whatever, I'm gonna go downstairs and get some breakfast. Let me know when you actually want to play. So... I went downstairs, and my mom's like, oh, hey, get your brother, and she was making breakfast, and I was just like, oh, he says his legs don't work. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sat down and started eating, and she's like, what? And I said, he's being stupid. He says his legs don't work. <laughs> and she just goes, okay, well, I'll go get him. So she goes upstairs, and she's like, get out of bed. And he's like, uh, I can't. My legs aren't working. And she just goes, okay, whatever. So she picks him up and gets him out of the bed and, like, stands him up, and then he falls down. Oh, and she was just like she fall, oh. He falls down. And she's like, "Okay, quit it. Knock it off. We're not playing this game. I need you to be serious." And he's like, he starts crying and freaking out. He's like, "Mom, I can't stand up. My legs aren't working." And my mom starts freaking out because her kid's probably paralyzed or something. So yeah. she, she starts freaking out. She calls my dad. My dad, by the way, was in medical school at the time. He, he's he's a doctor now, but um, he was in medical school at the time. She's like, "I don't know what's going on. What 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 do I have to do?" And he's like, "Take him to the hospital right now." And um, his his college was, like, right by the hospital. So my mom took him there. My dad took time off class to go and see what was going on. And then it turns out my brother's immune system had been attacking his spine. How and like his And, like, his balance system in his brain. I mean, that's horrible, but how interesting. Well, he's okay. Don't worry. He didn't die or anything. But, like, yeah. he, it had been attacking his spine in the night. But they had caught it early enough that they were like, okay, well, we can fix this. So they, like, took his spinal fluid out, and they did all these tests and things. I don't Have you know. ever seen congealed spinal fluid, by the way? I, I, it's actually, fucking I was about weird. to say, I actually got to see some of his spinal fluid. and um, It's fucking weird. It is. And, uh, you know, they did all these things with him, and he was in the hospital for a couple weeks, and then he was fine. 
That's but he had weird. to relearn how to walk. That's so interesting. Yeah. And so, but then the doctor told my dad and my mom, they're like, okay, this can happen to your other kids too. It's like a genetic thing. Okay. So, um, and my dad was like, yeah, it kind of happened, it happened to me one time or it happened to his grandfather. I can't I, I'm very hazy on the details because it's been years since I've like, yeah, you were eight or heard whatever. any of this stuff. Yeah, I was a little kid. Um, so basically from then on, my parents were like, yeah, if you wake up and you can't move, like, let us know. Call the hospital. <laughs> Wow. But it was really weird because, you know, when That's, you're a kid, you know, I, I was, like, really upset, too. I thought I had I had done something to him or something. Yeah, you know, you killed your brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really sad. I thought, like, I had done something to him, and I felt really bad for, like, making fun of him. Yeah. So, I don't know. Huh. That's so interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't remember how I got on that topic. I don't right. either, but I was gonna... There was a... It was one of my favorite snowboarders, and I was, that's the reason I asked if you'd ever seen congealed spy, spinal fluid. Mm -hmm. He was this kick-ass snowboarder. I forget his name. It was something something Brody, maybe? Jason Brody? I, I don't know. I think it's his name. I think that's his name. I'm a skier. I don't know any snowboarding stuff. Um, I just knew it because it was something that, that my parents watched, and I ended up getting into it because I watched it as a kid gotcha. with him. Um, I think his name is Jason Brody. And this dude, he had to stop snowboarding. Because his spinal fluid, he snowboarded so much that his spinal fluid congealed. Oh, because of all of the pressure that went on in his back. Yeah, so and it's hard. And they had to remove it, and it looked like fucking cottage cheese. Ah, oh, yucky! It was the craziest shit ever. And then I, I had another. Okay, story. my brother's spinal fluid didn't look like that. Oh no, because this was a congealed spinal fluid. It looked like a gel. Oh, weird. No, my brother's was still liquid. It was like this kind of yellowish white liquid, I think. Yeah, uh, well, at that point, it looked blue. It was completely white, Ugh. but it looked blue because they had to dye it to see it, you know, uh -huh. um, to make sure they were getting the right stuff, and so they dyed it, and so it had this, like, bluish tint, and so it was like this bluish gel-looking thing when you looked at it. Ugh. It was so weird, but so cool. Weird, man. Right? Um, there was another story I was going to tell, but I don't remember what it was. You know, I'm surprised to hear that, like, as a kid, you weren't like super wild because me and Ryan, Ryan are very similar in like how we see the world and we're both basically cavemen but yeah like I grew up I don't know I was told once by an, an older friend of mine like somebody who lived in the 70s that I had a very like 70s-esque childhood and I didn't live through the 70s I'm yeah. not saying like oh you know or whatever um, but I, I, what I would do like I lived in a very small I lived in small towns growing up and so like I just rode my bike everywhere and I didn't have a phone and I'll, to see if friends were home I just had to go to their house yeah. Or, like, call them, and if they didn't answer, then I just went over anyway, you know? And I and I would walk, I would just be outside, like, climbing trees and shit. Like, I tried to build a tree fort at one point, and, yeah. you know, I, I did all these things. And it wasn't <clears> until I got older, and I, you know, I'd tell, like, adults about my childhood, and they'd be like, oh, that sounds like my childhood. And then I would talk to friends about their childhood, and they're like, I didn't do that shit. And, uh, but yeah, I just kind of grew up wild, so I'm a little surprised to hear you didn't. Because uh, my, my mom would literally just kick us out of the house. Yeah, no, we had very, we had very different, I'm, my mom would try that. Um, I was too timid. Hmm. I was such a timid so little I find child. That very hard to believe knowing you now. No, yeah, no. I was super timid. I did not like going outside for the most part. I um, I, I tried to stay inside and just play video games and hang out with friends as much as I could. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't get video games when I was a kid. Yeah, like I, I actually I, I resented one of my friends because I would want to go hang out and play outside, and he would be like, "Oh, I got to finish this Call of Duty mission." And I actually, like, I got to the point where, okay. like, that I, would never talk, I would never go hang out with him because all he would want to do is play video games. And I was just like, why the fuck would you want to do this? But there's a hole outside. See, here's the thing. When, um, when me and our friends were hanging out and we did, and if one of us wanted to play outside, it was one of those things. I don't care what you were doing in the game. You put down the fucking game. Yeah. Your friends are wanting to hang out and play outside. And that's some part, fun that's shit, usually. Yeah, that's for the most part, that's how it was. But this one dude just didn't. So, like, we stopped hanging out with him for, like, a year. And then he came over to my house. He's like, we never hang out anymore. I'm like, yeah, because all you want to do is sit on your ass. Yeah. I had a friend like that. Um, and it, it was sad because we, we stopped hanging out also. Yeah. Um, it was it was the same deal. Um, and so, you know, we did this one thing. And we went out, like, I think we went out tubing one time. And I invited him, because he's one of my best friends, you know? Yeah. Gotta, gotta invite the homies. Yeah, 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 man. Um, and he was done after, like, five minutes, and it was less like, no, I don't Plus, like then this. when he would hang out with us, he would only play for, like, I don't know, 20 minutes, and then he'd go back inside. Yeah, and it was kind of like, well, what the hell, dude? Well, fuck you, we're not gonna stop. <laughs> like, 
It would be basically have the screw you attitude. If you don't want to hang out, just go somewhere else. Yeah, go home. Yeah, exactly. That's the kind of attitude we had, and we played yeah. it for another hour, and he was just sitting inside. I'm, I was very fortunate to have, like, I had some really good friends. By the way, Kendrick, Camden, and Derek, if you guys are listening or on, on the channel at all. I hate to do this. Keep talking oh, well. about them. But I really have to pee after that coffee. Go for it. <laughs> I'll just turn on Ryan's controller so um, you can play anyway. Just so, just so all you know, we had some bulletproof coffee, and that's why I got it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I expected this. Also, Ryan pees like a racehorse. I, I fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> it goes right through me. Oh, man. Ryan's always peeing. It's kind of weird. Nine times out of ten, if, if somebody has to pee, Ryan's already peed. Um... But yeah, I was fortunate enough to have, like, really good friends as a kid. So, like, Kendrick Camden and Derek, if you guys are listening for any reason, shout out to you guys. You guys made my childhood worthwhile. But I, 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 they were the ones that I hunted bees with, and, like, I would go over to their house, and we, we would just, like, pal around and, like, watch TV and play Legos, and then we'd go outside and, like, ride our bikes for a couple hours. And I was homeschooled as a kid, so, like, I, I, I was... I got my lessons done really quick because I was I was a smart kid, so like I would do my lessons real quick, and then I'd have the rest of the day to do whatever I want. So I usually just go and like build a fort in the woods or whatever until everyone else got home from school, and then I'd go and hang out with them. So Ryan's out and about. Did you hear any of that, Ryan? Nope. I well, heard you're really fortunate to have these great friends, and that's awesome. Yeah, uh, but I was homeschooled as a kid, so like I would have to wait for my friends to get home most of the time. Okay. Um. <laughs> So, because like, I was a smart kid, I had I had lessons out of books and shit that I had to do. Because like, yeah. my mom had this curriculum, and like she taught me how to read, and then she was like, "Okay, you know how to read, teach yourself." And she would hand me the curriculum and be like, "Go for it." Um, that's kind of awesome. And that's how I learned. Way. That's how I learned everything I know. I kind of think that's awesome in a way. I think that's a great way for people to learn. Well, I think it's a great way for smart people to learn. Yeah. And not to not to toot my own horn, I am very smart. You know, I'm the uh, my mother. My mother's a fucking genius. She doesn't believe she is, but my mom is smarter than my dad, and my dad's really smart he's he's in mensa you know so like yeah. I, I had a very fortunate gene pool of which to pull my smarts yeah um and i'm not saying i'm smart because oh i'm fucking cool like no i i my parents are 100 percent the reason i'm smart i can vouch for you i i think you're a very smart man too just from what i've seen and just from talking to you hey man thanks. i can then i can genuinely vouch for that a lot of people i know kind of are like oh at least fucking asshole because you know this and that. People think you're narcissistic because you say that, but I'm just I'm just trying to tell like what what I mean when I say that. I'm not trying yeah. to inflate myself. I'm just trying to say like I think people who are smart like me, it's really easy for us to teach ourselves. Yeah. Like I don't think you really like beyond learning how to read. I ne I never really needed instruction on how to learn. I just you know I just thought about it and applied myself. Yeah. So like if I wanted to learn something, I just did it. It wasn't something I ever really thought about. It wasn't until I started getting into, like, like high-level calculus courses in college where I was like, I don't think I can teach myself this. And I'd go to the teacher, and they're like, oh, yeah, you don't want to know why you can't teach yourself this? It's because it's calculus. The only man in the world that could teach himself calculus was Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah. And he's the one who came up with it. And they were like, calculus is so fucking, like, weird and non-intuitive that, like, you have to be a super genius. And I'm not a super genius by any means. Yeah. But they're like, you have to be really smart to teach yourself calculus. Um, I was honest, honest to God. I was, that's one thing that you and I did have similar. I didn't really enjoy going to school because it was too easy. Because I could, I would just sit at home and I Dude, would just learn it all in a second. I loved, I skipped like three grades in a, in a, in a couple months. I really, I, kid. I, could I just have. got tired of doing my lessons. I was like, ugh, I was in the fifth grade. Well, you were homeschooled, so that's, that's easier for you. Right, but I was in the fifth grade and I was like, oh, I don't want to do school anymore for a while. So I just skipped to like, I think eighth grade. But then I had to do 8th grade again anyway, because I moved to this different state where, like, one of the curriculums didn't count, and my mom was starting to stop homeschooling us, because she was like, you guys need to, like, have a social circle, or, like, a Which better... Which is totally respectable. Yeah, a better social circle. And I was like, alright, fair enough. And I was getting tired of being homeschooled anyway, so she put me in public school and I had to do 8th grade again, and that was god-awful. Yeah? I hated it. I, I wanted to... I, like, anyone who wanted to commit suicide in school probably knows what I'm talking about. I hated... School. Like, I liked seeing my friends, and I liked doing, like, gym class, and I... Because, like, my gym class was just going outside and riding my bike. So I liked doing, like, weightlifting and, like, running the mile, and I liked having organized act yeah. activities, like badminton and basketball and all that shit. And I loved that. But, like, sitting in class and not being able to, like, move forward or work on my homework in class or, like do anything besides sit there and listen to the people the t teacher drone on about something i already understood 
just drove me mad. And high school was even worse. See, here's the thing. I actually loved going to school um, for different reasons. I like obviously I loved going and seeing my friends, um, stuff like that. That was literally the only thing that I kept loved me alive visiting the teachers. Oh yeah, there were some teachers. Like I had a couple, like I don't know, three or four, maybe five teachers that I really, really liked who were really cool, and they understood like that I was really smart and so they would let me do my homework in class or they would let me draw or they'd let me read because yeah. they were like okay he's a straight A student and he he understands the concepts before I'm done teaching them yeah so I'm gonna let him my, like my math teacher she's like okay I'm not gonna have you sit in the front of the class because you'll just you'll distract the kids who need to you know who need this and I'm not looking down on anyone who needs to be taught or like can't teach themselves or anything no absolutely more power to you man but she was like okay you know you obviously don't need as much attention or help so, you can draw or you can read. You just have to be quiet. You can do whatever you want in the back. Don't be on your phone. Blah, blah, blah. And she was awesome. Her name was Miss Farrell. By the way, Miss Farrell, if you're listening, or if, you, if anyone in Antioch, Illinois knows who Miss Farrell is, give her a fucking hug for me because I love that. I love that woman. That's awesome. She's a great teacher. I had a similar experience with um, multiple of my classes. Physics, I had that experience. My physics teacher was the shit, dude. All physics teachers are the shit. Yeah. Let's be real. My all chemistry physics teachers. teachers. All chemistry teachers, too. God yes! God. All right. All you physics and chem teachers out there, I fucking love Keep you. You're real. crazy bastards. I fucking love real. you. Yo, okay, I got a story real quick about my, my physics teacher. Yeah, just remind me where I'm at. <laughs> Go for all the physics teachers. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> my physics teacher, you stay, this, was, this was before things started getting a little too secure in school this was before school shootings started becoming like a monthly thing um he had a nerf gun in his desk and if you weren't paying attention he would pull out his nerf gun and shoot you in the face oh my god <laughs> my chemistry teacher had a like a stress ball polar bear what oh that's cool and she would throw it at you if you weren't paying attention oh yeah no he used to have a, a nerf like one of those little nerf plush footballs yeah! yeah, but he hit a kid in the eye and like knocked out their lens or oh, something. Oh, what a like, bitch! What? Yeah, <laughs> but he threw it a little too hard and like fucked up their eye. He was lucky enough to get fired, so he started instead. He got a Nerf gun. And he would just shoot you. But one time, because I, I was I was paying attention because he was talking about like I don't know relativistic physics or something, and I, I guess I have a resting bitch face, and I you know I looked like I was tired or falling asleep or something. So he's like, he looks at me and he goes. And he shoots me right in the fucking chest. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, what? And he goes, what was I talking about? And I, I start spouting off the formula he had written on the board. Or I, I, I don't know. I said what he just said. And he goes, oh, sorry. I thought you weren't paying attention. He, just <laughs> back to the he was such a cool guy. That's hilarious. And my chemistry teacher. So he and his, his wife was Japanese. He like went to Japan for a couple years and taught chemistry there. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool guy. Not a weeb, though. You know, like a really solid guy. He just legitimately loved to teach. And uh, he and his wife were going to get married. And it's Japanese tradition, or I think it is. I don't know. He said it was. Uh, he, it's Japanese tradition to fold 100 paper cranes as a couple. Yes, it is. For good luck. And so he and his wife are folding all these paper cranes, and they didn't have a really a good place to put them in the, their apartment. Um, so he kept them in his class. So there were just paper cranes all over the fucking classroom. Oh, how and cute. every day, like, or not every day, every weekend, he would come in with a little, like, bank box of, like... Just full of paper like, cranes? Like, 50 of them. And at one point, he was like, okay, so, like, you know, he was telling us about his wife. And his wife came in one day on, like, a Monday. And he goes, okay, so we are up to, like, 20 paper cranes. And my wife wants you guys to help us make the last bunch. So instead of having, like, a, a lab or something that day, we just hung out with him and his wife and, like, made paper cranes and talked to them. How it was cool. sweet. And, like, he couldn't invite us to the wedding because she wanted a very small traditional wedding with just family. But That's like, understandable. He sent us all pictures and videos on our, like our Google Drives and shit. And he was like, wish you guys could be here. You guys are an amazing class. He was just a solid dude. Mr. Dyshell, if you're if you're watching huh. this, you're a, you're a rad man. That's interesting, because that leads into what I was going to talk about. Oh, and also when he had his kid, he like all the people who were in his class when mm -hmm. he got married, he sent them like in their Google Docs again, like pictures of his kid. Oh, that's so cool. So like, a couple years later, after I had graduated, I got some pictures of this little baby. From my, my chemistry teacher. That's so cool. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, that that kind of leads into what I was going to talk about, because um, what I was going to say was... Uh, physics teacher, go. <laughs> physics teacher and my Japanese teacher, too, in physics. Ah, uh, you learned Japanese. I did, <laughs> but I was too good at it for my, to keep up with my class. Mm -hmm. And my teacher knew that. Can you speak some Japanese? Uh, yeah, I can a little bit. Say, uh, like, hello, my name is Ryan in Japanese. Uh, Hajimashite, Watashi no Namae wa Ryan desu. Wow. 
I don't speak the Nihon, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been forever for me, and I took two years, and I was I was excellent at it. Oh, I speak Spanish. I, I got 100 my first year and a 98 my second year because I was working two jobs. Nice, dude. Um... Yeah, I was really. I have a language. I have a ear for language too. Yeah, my brain it just makes sense to me. I yeah, don't, it's just one of those things. Yeah, um, I, I totally get it with Spanish, man. I, I I get in the same boat. And so, but she knew that. And so, what she would do is she would be like, we got to the point where there was only three people in my, in my class because Japanese was fucking hard, mm-hmm. and so people just didn't want to because people are lazy in high school. Mm-hmm. And so there were three people, and so she'd teach the other two people something, and she'd be like. You learn these hundred words. Here you go. <laughs> I, I, I actually like, made okay. I actually made a Spanish teacher cry one time because I didn't want to get a major in Spanish. <laughs> I made my religion teacher, or I didn't make it. Our whole class made a religion teacher cry once. Oh, sorry. She loved us though. It was it's one of those. We were an emotional roller coaster of a class, but God, she loved us. We were her children, basically. Oh, I love that shit. Um, her name was her name is now Miss Woodward, but she will always be Miss Winfrey because she got married while we were a class too, kind of like your teacher did. Yeah, yeah. Um, to another one of our teachers that we knew. Oh, that's cute. And so, um, well, that most of us knew. Um, but he left to become an IT guy and make fucking bank. Way to go, Mister Woodward. By the way, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, IT job for a hospital. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, damn, yeah. Yeah. Well, IT jobs in general, really. Yeah, and for a hospital specifically, though. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Nice. Way to go. Good on him, man. Right? Way to go, Mr. Woodward. Way to way to make that bank. Rolling that dough for the baby. Um, they have a baby now. Aww. I don't know its name. I haven't talked to them in forever. That's... Um, that's but weird. we made her cry once because this kid, uh, let's call him, let's call him Greg. Because there was no Gregs in my class, so let's call him Greg. So I don't, I don't rat this kid out. Hello, Greg. Uh, <laughs> he fucking, God, <laughs> this dude. Was he a douche or like a little he... bit? Sometimes he was a good, he was good at heart though. But he just did some douchey things just because he, he was he just things. like a lovable oaf kind of. A little bit. He just didn't think about it. Okay, so he, um, he, he didn't could... realize how much of an ass he was being. Uh, no, he did. Oh, he did. It was one of those... So he's not a lovable oaf. He's no, an asshole. he's an asshole, but he's a lovable asshole. Mm, I don't know. People who are assholes for, like, no good reason are terrible. And, like, I'm an asshole, but I'm at least up front, and I tell people, like, look, it's just a joke. I'm not serious. None I can say real. that. Was he joking about it? Uh, yeah, this is something This is something that happened on accident, and he would never do this on purpose. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he was just being a dick for so, a reason. So, he was joking around, and he... Oh, poor Peter. He tied a tripwire. Between two desks. His name's Peter? No, his name is Greg. Okay. Who is this Peter guy? Is huh? this the guy you tripped? Huh? You said no, 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 no. This is... I, I slipped. <laughs> oh, his name is Peter. <laughs> yeah, Shit, <sorry>. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. So the story goes. So it's been written in the tomes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Peter and slash oh, Greg. Oh, God. Uh, he tied a tripwire uh-huh. between two desks. Oh, no. Did he, did he trip your teacher? <laughs> oh, 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 and he was totally on accident in this point. No, it wasn't. He tied a tripwire. No, no, no. He was joking. He was about to untie it. Oh, okay. Oh. And she walked oh, over. Oh, no. She was like, she, she had one of those, what the fuck are you guys doing moments, and walked over, and the tripwire was still there before he could untie it. No. And she just, no. bam, oh, into the sh- fucking sh- linoleum, dude. And yeah, the fucking man, school linoleum. floors are not fun to fall This on. shit was tile, you know? Mm. And Fucking out! Oh, she was. Oh my god! Oh, poor he girl. made her cry. Poor girl. Oh, <laughs> he ma- we made her cry a couple of times just because we were all assholes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. We were fucking, you know, sophomores. But you know, she was the she was the teacher that would, you know, whenever th- the fingers were pointed at us, she was always the one to be there and defend us, give us the benefit of the doubt. That's awesome. I love she was people. she was the one who was always there for us because in the end, I mean, she knew us better than anyone. Yeah, she really did. Man, um, I made my Spanish teacher cry for a worse reason. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to be a Spanish major. Well, basically, what she said was like, I don't know. She was she was just heaping on the praise one time because I I was I was like top student. This was in college though. This because in high school I was always like I always had great grades in Spanish, but like I I didn't really care that much about high school, and I took the term high school literally, high school. Yeah. Um, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but. So, I, I didn't have amazing grades, but I had pretty good grades. You know, I had A's for the most part. Maybe yeah. a couple B's here and there. I was a smart kid, and I didn't... I, you know, I did my work. Um, and I remember... I went to college, though, and I was, like, top of the class. I was really good at Spanish. And, like, this was advanced... This was, you know... This was, like, the honors program of Spanish. 
These were, yeah. these were like the really good kids because there was like the basic Spanish class, like beginner Spanish class, and then like the fuck up Spanish class, and then there was us. And I had I had I had tested into like the upper class of Spanish, and I was top of the class. And my teacher was like, "Oh my god, you you have such great potential. You could be an interpreter for like the UN. You could be you know you could you could work in the business sector. You could work do you could do anything with your skills." Yeah. She goes, "You could go to Spain and teach English." I was the same way with Japanese. Yeah, and she you know she was heaping on the praise, and she was like, "What do you want to do?" What major are you? Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Well, I want to be a psychology major because I want to be a therapist." And she was like, "You could be a therapist, like speak Spanish and do therapy with Spanish." And I was like, "Oh, that sounds kind of cool." And then she was like, "Oh, you should get like a minor or a bachelor in Spanish when you when you get when you become a therapist." And I was just like, "No, I kind of just want to learn Spanish for like just for fun because I like the language and because I want to speak it." Yeah. And she just goes. You have so much potential. You could be in. You are. You have. You are at the level that you're fluent after like six years. Yeah. Like I've done it all through high school. That's insane. And then I did it two years of two years of Spanish in college, and she just goes, "You are so advanced. You should be in like the next two classes up." And I don't. I, I want to brag. You know, I'm probably. I probably sound very full of myself or whatever. But this is just what she was telling me. Yeah. Um. And I. I just looked at her and I said, you know, I'm not that interested in it. I just. I just like doing it for fun. And she was like, she just looked at me and she just started tearing up. And she's like, you have such potential. She goes, she oh. goes, I didn't even have this potential. And she goes, people, I've, ta- I've taught Spanish for like 10 years. People don't have this potential very often. It's a very unique gift that you have. And I was just like, I'm sorry, I don't want to. And she just started crying right there. I didn't know what to fucking do. Oh my God. I was like, lady, I'm in, I'm like 20 years old. Why are you, what's going on? Like, why are you crying? Wow. And I didn't know what to fucking do. And I just kind of stood there and she was like, I wouldn't either. She was like, okay, it's your decision. I don't want to force you into anything. But she was, what? You have what? the potential to be an, a fantastic interpreter. And I was just like, fuck. <laughs> like, I didn't know what to do. Because I had like, she 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 had assigned like Don Quixote as as a reading. Oh, thing. that's fun! But it was just to read. It wasn't like she wanted us to write like a like a two page paper on it or something. Okay. And I wrote like a whole fucking like synopsis of the book and what I thought about it in Spanish. Okay. And she was like, I only asked for two pages, and I gave her like a, I don't know like an eight page, five page, five to eight. I don't remember exactly, yeah. but a lot a lot more than she asked. Yeah, like, just because you really. I gave her that back, and she's like, Oh, how long did you take the take you? And I was like, I don't know, an afternoon. And she was just like, What? She's like, how did you know all these words? And I was like, I just, I read the book. And like, I don't know. I remember words. Yeah, it's and, just one of those. But I like, things. I just, I impressed her too much, I think. I don't know. Yeah, stop being so goodly. I, I don't, I don't, I know I feel like I'm bragging. I'm sure somebody's no. listening to this like, this fucking asshole. I don't want to listen yeah, to no, no, He's no. just talking about how good he is at Spanish. It's like, no, I'm just telling you like, fuck. I just want to tell the truth. Yeah, no. Truth is, I made somebody cry because I was really good at Spanish. <laughs> Um, I actually, I got something that, it didn't make them cry or anything, but it almost made me cry, because it was just a really sweet compliment. So, as some of you may know, I'm very, very new to music. Um, I've he's, only been... He's, guy, he's getting music, because he music. hates money! Yeah, exactly. I, I joke about that all the time, too, but I'm, I'm also sure being you serious. Do. I'm sure you do. Um, but it's one of those things, it's just something I found myself absolutely loving. Okay. And enjoying, and so... I was talking, and I'm a voice major, obviously, I sing, um, and so I got out of this class, and I was talking with this person, and they were like, so how long have you been singing kind of deal? I'm like, I've been singing for like two years, and they go, really? And mm. I go, I go, yeah, so I, I mean, you know, I'm very new, she's like, well, you honestly have more talent for it than I do, and I've been singing choral for 12 years. Jesus, wow. And she goes, that's... Crazy! You sound like you've been singing for so much longer. Wow! And like you have maybe not the same skill level. I might know more technicalities because you know I've been doing it for twelve years. But talent-wise, you sound like you've been singing longer than I have. Wow! That's really cool. That's yeah, a really nice compliment. Yeah, I, I I like people who can admit when you're better than them. Or I I even like I like finding people who are really good at things. Like really, like I'll admit, Ryan, you're a way better singer than I am, and I've been singing for longer than two years. Yeah, and it, I was in choir in like middle school, man. And it's crazy to think about because I actually I closed myself off from that because from I was singing because I was told I was bad. You're really good at one. At one point, I was told I was bad because mm. I didn't know what I was doing, and I was just, you know, having. Fun you know, I hate like, it when that happens. And they were like, "Dude, come on, please, shut I up." I hate it when that happens. When I people do too. Stifle talent. I hate that. I do too, and so I was completely shut off from it. 
Wow. And I never sang again until after high school. Dude. And then I sang, like, once for somebody, and I ended up joining the Glee Club at UAA, and... Right on. Now I'm a music manager. Well, I think that's about all the time we got. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> I think we actually talked about a little over time. Yeah, if you guys have any, like... Yeah, a little bit. ...suggestions for topics or whatever, go ahead and put them down in the comments Yeah, I think below. we got through two of the four. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, actually, I think we went through, like, one. I, uh, I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, you know... We have a great time recording with for you guys. We I had a love great this. time talking. This is one of my favorite things. I love doing Tetris Talks. I love this channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, please put them down in the comments box. If you just want to say something, tell us yeah. a story about your teachers. Go ahead and put it down there. Link us to some of your videos. Fuck it. Absolutely. Just, just you know, get involved. Get involved in the community. You don't have to donate to us or anything, but like Go ahead and look at our Patreon if you want. If you want to support us, just a dollar will help. Hell yeah. You know and it's something that we will check out. If you guys yeah. be like, hey, I really think you'd enjoy my stuff. I'm not trying to plug myself or anything. And we watch it, and we truly yeah. do enjoy it. We'll let you know. Oh, and we'll shout you out. I'll shout you out on this. And part. honestly, if we like it that much, and if you're local, or if there's some way to get you online or something like that. Yeah, we'll put you on it. Yeah, we'll, hell yeah. On. we'll, we'll do something for you. And if you want to get sponsored, if you have some kind of product you want to promote, even if it's just a tiny thing or a Kickstarter, go ahead and you know get in contact with us. And Dorks if you think it's genuinely good content. Yeah, dorksofcontrollers at gmail.com. All one word, all, all lowercase, no spaces, no whatevers. You know, just, just go ahead and email us. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Yeah. I hope you have. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. For those of you on the iTunes or whatever, wherever you're finding this podcast, <laughs> on the iTunes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the Google. <laughs> I hope you guys, I hope you guys like this podcast. I hope you keep downloading it and yeah. stay frosty. Catch you later, guys. Later. Have a good one.